Good morning and welcome to this Wednesday, October the 7th version of From Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. Today we're going to be looking at Matthew, again at Matthew chapter 22, and we'll be looking at verses 23 to 33. And this is, of course, the question about the resurrection. The audience that will be involved with Jesus on this occasion are the Sadducees. Now, just a quick, a, a quick reference as to who all these parties are that Jesus is dealing with. The Pharisees are the ones who try to live according to the letter of the law, more so than the spirit of the law. They live by the letter of the law, and they believe in resurrection. We don't know what the Herodians believe, except they are Herod's puppets. Uh, they try to try to make sure that that this puppet king set up under Rome has some sense of legitimacy. The scribes, well, they just they just take the notes and um, you know follow along. And and the Sadducees are a group of people who just do not believe in the resurrection, as Jesus is about to show them and as Jesus proclaims. The interesting thing about the Sadducees is that they bring a question to Jesus here about someone who has been married several times and whose wife is she in heaven. It goes all the way down to the seventh spouse. Um, and of course, we may we may be a little bit troubled about all these marriages, but according to uh, Leverite law, uh, this is this is this is typical. Uh, this would this would make sense, and it's a sensible question. But they say to Jesus, the Sadducees say to the Jesus, in the resurrection, then whose wife of the seven will she be? For all of them had married her. Now Jesus' response here is is very direct. He says, you are wrong because you, not, because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. Now, I want you to think about that because that's a very important phrase Jesus uses here. You don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. Well, obviously, if we knew something about the scriptures, obviously more than we sometimes think we know. If we knew something about the scriptures, then we would know more about the power of God. But the bottom line is many of us do not even know or care or think about the power of God because we've got our selfish intentions. We do. So in this passage of scripture, when he says, you're wrong because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God, he goes on to say, for in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is God, not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. Astounded over the fact that when when we die, it is not about marriage or being given in marriage. It is about being part of the kingdom of God. It is about being found by the king at that banquet wearing the clothes of righteousness. So many of us want to take our earthly possessions with us and live it out in heaven as part of our continued eternal life. There may be something to that, but I don't know that, and you don't know that. What I do know is what the scripture teaches us. What I do know is that the power of God is going to make happen whatever is going to happen. What I do know is that I, would, I want to get into heaven, and I want you to get into heaven too. And whether we're living in a mansion over the hilltop or a pup tent, to be there, to be in the presence of God, to be a part of that eternal kingdom, to know that our, our, our souls and bodies are going to be raised 
just as our faith in Jesus teaches us, is a wonderful, comforting, happy, holy, joyful thought that I carry with me, and I hope you do too, from sunrise to sunset.